A match that saw 23 combined fouls, 18 of them coming from the defending national champions, Stanford. And it finishes in a scoreless draw. Chris Doran, Dan Kelly with you. Not a lot of offensive excitement in this match. Perhaps for Indiana, the best thing they can take away from this, a learning experience. Yeah, they learned how to play for 65 minutes with just 10 men. And the top defender in the country, some say, Grant Lillard, after he was tossed out during a very physical first half of play, and Stanford was able to limit the amount of rhythm that Indiana could bring to the game. Yeah, and one of the best center backs in the country, Grant Lillard, will factor in as the main focus of her highlights from that first half. Yeah, Lillard, right here in the near part of your screen, steps in the way of Langsdorf, who's trying to get to goal, and then he steps in the way of another Stanford player. In both those situations, he was given yellow cards. And so he has been dismissed from the from the match. Second half, playing with 10. Colin Webb called into action. Stanford found some chances. They actually found more possession too. But the Indiana goalkeeper was up to the task and brought them to overtime. But and in the overtime period, nothing came of it. Yeah, not much of an attack from either side. As you look at all those fouls we talked about, Stanford, they get a few more shots than Indiana, but their best chance there was quieted down by Webb we saw in the second half. But the fans at least, they got some post-match fireworks. They were denied a goal, but it's Indiana. A little bit of a learning experience at home, playing with 10 men. The majority of the match, they settle for a draw against the defending champs from Stanford.